Bam. But... The increased determination and apparent desperation displayed by the Corps in its defense of Rouge Pelt did not go unnoticed by nice the you got there. Yeah, I know, right? Rouge Pelt was not an especially resource. Oh, I, 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 I'm sorry, man, but I have to sit like this. I have to sit, like this. To I have to sit this way. Next gate. Core Prime could not be far beyond. Corps been pushed back onto the ancient earthworks known as the motion ramp. They have assembled a gate there, perhaps the final gate. Surely Core Prime, the core homeworld, must be there. Destroy all mobile units and uh, at the motion ramp and capture the gate there. The, the the ramp will be defended also. Expect meteor showers. All right. Get yourself a new background. Windows background is a disgrace. All right, what what? All right, let's get a new background right now. All right. I need Bob Ross DMs, my dude. But you guys want to see my DM? Need to go to game speed option. Oh, show that on stream, dude. <laughs> Oh, dude. <laughs> Close call. <laughs> oh, like how you guys just want me to show, <laughs> want me to show porn on the stream, dude. Can, can we not get music that's so loud? <laughs> oh, damn, dude. Why, right, you guys hang out together right now? What? You guys have to be hanging out together right now. Yeah. Food time. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna make a joke about Jonathan, but then I was like, yeah, it's probably best not to. It's actually pretty interesting. Like if you're if you're a man, what what does that make Jonathan? Does that make him like your waifu as well? Or is he what what is he to you? <laughs> yes, alright. Got two waifus. That's a bit greedy, don't you think? Being a lib lib What? Libanis? Libanis? What, is, what does Libanis mean? Libanis. I've never heard that before.
and waifu. Why, I'm out in the middle? Oh, why am I building a guardian? What am I doing? I'm not even like thinking about what I'm doing. Thespians, obviously. Eyes. Ah, you know, like, really writing it wrong could also be a thing. Oh, you don't die. Okay. I don't need you. Where's my radar? Why haven't I built a radar? Winning the game. Um, right now, I get right now. I'm doing fine. Building up a base, you know. It, it's an RTS. All right, so the base. It's an old RTS from 1977. Uh, 1977, 1997 is what I meant to say. Um, and the game is pretty much like any other uh, RTS game. You have resources, you've got metal and energy. You have to build stuff that can gather those resources, in this case, these solar collectors and metal extractors. I'm building a geothermal power plant to get more energy so that I can make metal makers. Um, essentially, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just building up economy. Then, I'm at the same time building up a little bit of an army here to protect me against air units. These are called Samsons. They shoot missiles and take out uh, air units. Right there, right before, there was two planes who attacked me. Uh, and if I didn't build those Samsons, I wouldn't have uh, been able to... I uh, would have probably died. But yeah, right, so, like, so... Up here on, in the corner, you can see there are some red dots. It's Civ in space. What, Civ? Civilization in space? It's like... Civilization is turn-based, though. That's the thing. That that's the big difference. Civilization is turn-based. This is like, like real-time strategy game, not turn-based strategy game. That's the difference. So like here, yeah, here you just rampage. Yeah, exactly. Here you just you keep playing. There's pretty much no stop. And the guy with the most actions per minute uh, usually wins, but since I'm playing against the AI, then it's doesn't matter. Now there's a there's a uh, meteor shower right here. Killed one of my uh, solar collectors. I bet have you, you probably heard about Age of Empires 2. It's kind of like Age of Empires, just instead of being you know in the in like like this fucking Iron Age with like with fucking metals and, or with uh, with sword fighting and archery, it's like futuristic. Also, it's really old. Very important, it's really old. Then I can build buildings, uh, build units, and you know how, how it goes. It's pretty boring if you're not like... If you don't understand how, how the game works. Like, this, is, this is basically my childhood. I played this game when I was like a little kid. Uh, a little kid. I was like, what, five? I played this game when I was five. Um, and I, back then I didn't understand it much, but uh, now that I'm older and I understand English and I have a general understanding of games, like, I think it's pretty good. What the fuck just happened here? What? I should actually make a... Uh, Pokemon basically taught you English? Yeah. Like, games in general taught me English. 
There's a lot of tanks right there. Don't bunk into them. Stop with the heavy music. No, stop. The music in this game, though, when you're playing Spyro, I do. <laughs> I I don't think I'll be playing Spyro. Like I played it when I, when I was a kid, but it's like I don't know. Like I'm not. Wait a minute. Do you have a big cannon? I think you got a big cannon. Um, when um, when I was a kid, I played the old Spyro, but I don't think I'll I'll play the new one. Yeah, the, the remastered version of it. I don't think I, I'm... I'm a big enough fan to that. Kind of taking a break from Hollow Knight, though. I, can't, I, did, I never really finished Hollow Knight. There's the, there's the... Right there was the building that I needed. Oh, no. Meteor shower right over my base? That's not... Yeah, I'm kind of taking a break from... Uh, from Hollow Knight. Waiting for the... Uh, book song to come out. I did, like... Hit 60 hours into the... Uh, but into the game. Oh, he does have a big cannon. Oh, no. He does have a big cannon. Alright, well. Bombers. What's finishing Hollow Knight again? Right, you never finished Hollow Knight. <laughs> like, I finished it by killing all the bosses, except the, um... Except the... Pantheons. I never really uh, killed the Pantheons. So basically, the way this game works is that you have your commander, your your starting unit, and if he dies, you lose. That's that's pretty much uh, the the deal. In the game. If you if you if he dies, then you lose. And um, oh. uh, if he dies, you lose. Also, he is also your strongest unit. He got what is called a D gun, basically. Like short for death gun. Um, death gun is shoot a, uh, basically a sun out of your your cannon, your cannon, and it one shots anything. But it takes a great deal of uh, energy. I'm really tired of that big gun shooting all my shit. Just like right there. God, he's coming with the gallery. I'm just coming in. Oh, they're lining up easy money. Hey, shoot. Never think of how big gun feels. Man, fuck big gun, dude. Big gun is dead now. The big gun is actually called Big Bertha. Uh, on on in the faction that I'm playing, and it's called Big Bertha. Big gun have feelings too. The music in this game though is great. I fucking love the music in this game.
Is the game too loud? Be careful. Roaches there are really scary. Where's my where's my commander just now? Maybe a little. Hey, there he is. You want to tend? There he is. Alright. All right. We won, by the way. You guys are, are aren't sure of them. I can tell you, we won. Easy win, man. Just gonna wait for my commander to capture this galactic gate so he can travel to the next planet. There you go. Right? Right? Oh, game. Did we won, right? I haven't won yet. Do I need to destroy something? Oh, there's more shit I can destroy. I right. guess I have to destroy these two things over here. <laughs> that was anticlimactic. Hey, we won! Eh. Nothing happened. And death. Now we've won. Damn.